Okay, so again, I said earlier in the chipping video that it's all about impact. I think that when people better understand what happens at impact, they can become better players. So on a chip shot, I used the playing card and had it slightly behind the golf ball. And I told you that your goal should be to get the leading edge to the ground between the card and the ball. And if you do that, you're gonna notice that you're chipping the ball beautifully. Well, now we're gonna segue into a pitch shot. And with a pitch shot, what we do differently than a chip shot is we don't use the leading edge, but instead we use the bounce of the golf club. When, when I say the word bounce, I think that what may help you understand how this club was designed by Gene Sarazen is to think, what does bounce mean? Or picture the idea of you bouncing a ball, whether it be your golf ball or a basketball. When you bounce something, you accelerate it to the ground, okay? So when you use a sand wedge and you're gonna pitch the ball, I want you to be aware that you're gonna use the bounce of the club and you're gonna use the ground. You're gonna bounce the club off the ground. So I'm using this playing card to give you a visual to help you understand this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing the club and I'm gonna hit the playing card right in the middle of the card with the bounce of the club. And we'll see what kind of shot comes off. Well, I can tell you that it was a nice high little pitch shot that landed and rolled about a third or half as much as it flew. But the main point here that I want you to understand is I want you to understand that when you chip the ball, you use the leading edge and it's okay to hit a little behind the ball because the leading edge grabs the grass, puts the face more on the ball, it's a perfect chip shot. I want you to understand that when you pitch the ball, you're not gonna use the leading edge, but instead you're gonna use the bounce or the bottom of the club. And when you do that, on both cases, it's very important that you understand you must use the ground. If you're afraid of the ground in any way, as you swing towards the ball, you're gonna experience things called the yips or the, the skulls or the chunks. We don't want any of those. So use the ground. If you're chipping, use the leading edge. And if you're pitching, use the bounce. But always, always get to the ground, feel the ground. The ground will help you. And when you do this and you implement this into your short game, I guarantee you're going to notice you're hitting a lot better shots.